What I also wanted to show you guys too, we talked about this in one of our previous videos, for those that don't know this, um, and this goes for your QX7 as well, when you hold your page button, you get telemetry screens. And you can have, you can hit page again and you can have multiple telemetry screens show up. I only have one screen here, so it's only going to show one. I'll have one set up. But yeah, you hold the page and you can have bold readout. So, I'll show you. When we plug in our V Brain, I love the look of them. So, we've got that plugged in. I look up my telemetry output. All those beautiful numbers. So to do that, and this applies about the same, uh, just a little bit different key sequence because you have the dials, but page menu and exit buttons are still the same. So to set those up, you go into your model. You already have your model set up, so you're just going to tap menu and page. Find the page for, we're looking for for the telemetry page, so I'm going to keep going. There we go. So there, this is where you also set your alarms. You will also notice all of your sensors. This is the telemetry main screen. So first make sure you have telemetry set up and working with your receiver. These are, those are all my active sensors. You can do it, discover new sensors if you're doing a new model or swapping a board or something like that, swapping a receiver. And then you end the discovery. You can delete all and discover again. It won't hurt anything. I've done it a few times when changing radios or I make a new model on here. Um, once that's set up, that kind of tells you what sensors you have in telemetry so you know and what they're assigned here, the names kind of tell what they are. So with that said, you go to your next screen and that is your display. You have a display and you can have multiple pages here. I think if you keep going down. See I only have one page but you can have multiple pages. up at the very top oh. right up at the very top it asks what is your voltage source and your altitude VFAS and out this has a barometer the uh, V-Brain light Mockingbird has a barometer those two items are what's going to show up if you exit back on the main screen up here at the top so you have voltage of my radio voltage of my craft and then altitude is on there too. So now you saw those screens that I set up. Let's go back into there. So you go to the run model and keep going to that telemetry screen. Oop, went too far. If you hold page, it goes back. Okay, so there we are. So if I go down, what I did, <clears throat> and we'll do an example here. That's page one. So. If I'm going to add another one, there's an open spot. I'm going to enter on that guy. Yeah, do an enter on that guy over here. And then just start uh, plus and minus until you find the sensor you want to show there. And you might have to toggle through like uh, your controls like throttle, aileron, rudder, all that stuff. And you keep hold it down and you can get way down there. You can start getting into, there we go. So such as cells, you can have your cell count, be fast, that's my actual craft battery. You can have date, time, all that stuff. But anyway, you get it. Um, I'll go all the way back up. I'm holding minus to go back to make that one blank because I don't want anything actually in that one. So I'm going to exit that. So you can see what ones I have set up in those rows that correlates if we go back to my main screen hold page see there they are so nice and labeled nice and bright and bold they're really nice not that you look at those when you're flying but when I'm on the bench when I'm working when I'm testing things if I'm out in the field 
even at events, um, I'll look at these to make sure, because there's a lot of things going on. You know, you're a race. I'm going to power this down. It's getting, probably getting warm. I'm on the high video transmitter setting. So let's unplug that dude. Telemetry lost. But yeah, such as uh, an event, you have to pull your goggles out for everything to make sure everything's working when you plug in. Um, you can see my power. What do I have in there? <clears throat> I even have my um, RFID, not RFID, my RFMD, so it tells me what, uh, what channel I'm using. So if I'm doing a lot of channel switching, if you're flying with other people, it'll tell you actually what channel on the radio. Um, your RSSI, um, link quality, if you have crossfire, which I have on my 5-inch quads, I put RSSI and link quality on here, just like seeing it when I power up, make sure everything looks good. Um, you can even have RPM on here, current, I mean any, pretty much any of those sensors that you see under that sensor screen you can put on here. So Whoop doesn't have a whole lot. Um, you can even have, uh, I've been playing a little bit with the long range quads and you can have, if you have GPS, uh, GPS chip on there, you can have GPS sent to that through your telemetry. Um, so let's check out that launch controller. You want to see that? 